Hi, this is Marvin from the Pharonix product team. In this video, I'll do an overview of the Usage Stats feature in Decrease Cloud. The Usage Stats dashboard provides comprehensive insights into the deployment of IT assets in your network environment. With this information, you can make better IT administrative decisions regarding resource deployment and the allocation of IT budget. Let's start by enabling Usage Stats. Under Policies, create or edit the policy you would like Usage Stats to be associated with. Select Usage Stats, enable it from the drop down menu, and hit Save. Usage Stats will be installed the next time the computers associated with this policy checks in with DeepFreeze Cloud. Usage Stats is separated into two tiers. If you have DeepFreeze Cloud Premium, you can view installed software and computer usage reports. If you have DeepFreeze Cloud Ultimate, you can also manage installed software and view compliance reports. Let's take a look at the Usage Stats dashboard. Information is organized in these widgets that you can arrange for your convenience. Let's walk through the different available widgets. In computer usage, the graph shows you the number of users or the number of logins to your network computers. Top Utilized Applications displays the applications by total usage duration, number of unique users, and number of sessions across your computers. Top Managed Software shows the most actively used software and the number of computers they are installed on by duration, user, or number of sessions. In most overutilized licenses, this bar graph shows the number of licenses being overdeployed per software. If the bar is red, then the license is most likely overutilized. In most underutilized licenses, shows the least used software. The green part of the bars show how many licenses are being used, and the white part of the bar chart shows the remaining unused licenses. Software license compliance shows the percentage of software currently compliant versus non-compliant based on license entitlement. And software license utilization displays the number of available licenses and the number currently being used for each software. By clicking on each widget, you can see a more detailed view of the data as well as generate a report, or manage software assets by clicking on the little gear in the corner of any widget. The data for all these widgets is based on the information in the Manage Software Assets page. In order to get the most accurate reports, you should take the time to properly fill out all the necessary information about your software assets. Let me show you how to manage a software asset. Go to Manage Software Assets under Usage Stats and click on Edit Software List. This is a list of all the installed software on your managed computers. You need to select and edit the pieces of software you wish to track the usage of. Pick a piece of software and start adding relevant information. For example, our copies of Microsoft Visual C++. Pick a license type, either a node, a user license, concurrent license, or it could be freeware. Then select the license terms, either perpetual or subscription. If it's a subscription, add the expiration date of your licenses. Then add the number of licenses you purchased. Please note that putting your license keys here doesn't apply them anywhere. This is just a space to make note of them and keep track of them. You can also add notes in the description section. This is a great place to add relevant admin information like contact information for software tech support. And here, you can add tags to better sort your software. Once you've selected and edited all the software you would like usage stats to track, hit save. To learn how to deploy this software across your network, check out our software deployment video. Now go back to usage stats and the managed software you selected should appear in the appropriate widgets. To generate a report, click on the widget you wish to report on. By clicking on each widget, you get a more detailed view of the data. You have several filtering options depending on the widget. 
You can sort by date range, search for a specific computer or application, user or group, or by software compliance, then click on Generate Report. Once sorted, depending on the widget, you can view the list of products, associated tags, the latest version of each software, publisher name, the number of nodes and users using the software, how many licensed nodes are available, license expiration dates, and most importantly, whether or not the software is compliant with current license volumes and license validity. Once a report is generated, you can print it out or export it as an HTML file, PDF, or CSV. For more information about other features available through DeepBreeze Cloud, check out our other videos.